Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to explain about the UI designing side of the administrator sign-in page. On top of this page, in the middle, you can see our eShop logo here like this. Below that, this page is showing a small greeting as Hi, Welcome Home Admins. Below those, to the left, you can see a graphic like this. Then to the right, this place is showing a small title as Sign in as an Administrator. Below that, there is an input field to insert the email address of the Administrator who wants to sign in. Inside the input field, there is a placeholder as example john at gmail.com as you can see. Then below the input field, there is a button as send verification code. Background color of that button is blue as you can see. Then to the right, there is a red button as back to customer login. People can use this button to go back to basic user sign in page if they are not administrators. Then finally, by the bottom of this page, you can see our copyright statement like this. Alright, let's check out the responsiveness of this page to various display resolutions. In this case, we are only focusing on the larger and smaller display resolutions. So, this is the view that we are getting on a larger display resolution. Okay, now I am going to decrease the display resolution virtually. Alright, now this is the view that we are getting on a smaller display resolution. As you can see, now it has a more compact structure to fit on that smaller display resolution. In this view, that graphic and that copyright statement are gone as you can see. Alright, that's all about it. So, let's see cons of our design. So now I am going to VS Code as you can see. I am currently viewing admin sign in.php file. As usual, to keep our page running in the state, it should be I am linking some other files inside of it. First, inside these headers, I am linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrapicons.css, then now on style.css file. Then by the bottom of body tags, I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and now on script.js file. Then to body tags, we are adding a linear gradient color scheme like this. These codes are creating the view of that eShop logo on the page. I added my own class like this and stylized it from the style.css side. When stylizing it from the style.css side, I used the image of our site logo like this. Then these paragraph tags are creating the statement Hi, welcome home admins. Then once again, I added my own class like this and stylized it from the style.css side. You can see the codes of that small title on our page sign in as an administrator like this. Then once again, I added my own class like this and stylized it from the style.css side. Then these are the codes of email address input field. Then I added the placeholder to that input field like this. Input field type was set to email as you can see. These are codes of send verification button. These are codes of back to customer login button. As you can see, I linked our index page from here like this.
these are codes of verification code inserting model i'm gonna explain about that in depth in the next video then finally these are the codes of the copyright statement by the bottom of the page so folks that's all i have to explain in this video stay tuned for the next one see ya